Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet the lemon peel stitch. I used this stitch in a number of my patterns including this hat pattern, the camellia hat. It's a really nice texture but it's also really quite simple to make. Um, I love it for all kinds of things. Like I said, I have several patterns that use this stitch and it's just one of my favorites. It's really relaxing and simple, and I love to use it. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just using a scrap ball of worsted weight yarn. This is Mighty Stitch Worsted from We Crochet. I just had a scrap ball to use. Um, and I have an H five millimeter crochet hook. This is a furl streamlined wood hook. I will link um, the pattern to this hat as well as the yarn and the hook in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for this stitch, you are going to want to chain a multiple of two plus one for your starting chain. So I'm just going to do 21 chains for this tutorial. One. All right, I've completed 21 chains. I'm going to flip my chain over and work into the back bump of my chains. I like to do that. And I'm going to start by working into the second chain from my hook. So I've got the chain that's attached to my hook. I'm gonna work into that next bump that is the second chain from my hook. And I'm gonna do one single crochet in that stitch, into that chain. Next, I'm gonna work a double crochet into the next chain. And then I'm going to continue that repeat all the way across. So one single crochet in the next chain, one double crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next. And I'm going to work that all the way across for a total of 20 stitches. All right, I've completed my first row. I have 20 stitches. I start with a single crochet and I end with a double crochet. Now I'm ready to do my next row. So the key with the lemon peel stitch is that you're going to work your single crochet stitches into your double crochet stitch from the row before and your double crochet will go into the single crochet stitches from the row before. So we're gonna chain one and turn. We ended with a double crochet for row one. We're going to start with a single crochet for row two. So I'm gonna do just like my first row, now I'm working into stitches instead of chains. I'm gonna start with one single crochet in the first stitch, which is a double crochet from the row below. And then I'm gonna work one double crochet in the next, which is a single crochet. And that's what gives you that nice texture that you get with this stitch. So the next one is going to be a single crochet and then the next a double crochet. And this is also great to know um, if you get off, if you lose count or just um, forget what you're doing and you are working, a, you come up and you're working a double crochet into a double crochet, you know that you got off somewhere because the single crochet is always going to go into a double crochet and the double crochet is always gonna go into a single crochet stitch for the stitch combo to be correct. So I'm just repeating that across one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, all the way to the end of the row.
All right, I've completed my second row. Um, now all you're going to do is a repeat of that row two. So from here on out, you're just gonna chain one, turn your work, one single crochet in the first, one double crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, all the way across. And you're gonna repeat row two for the entire time that you want to work this stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off a few more rows and then I'll give you a few pointers and tips and talk to you about decreasing and stuff like that for this stitch. All right, I've done two more rows and you can see the texture is already starting to form. It's really nice texture. Um, some key things about this is when you're working in the round, you would do it the, the exact same way. Um, you would join your round and turn so that you're working in the opposite. Um, and that's what gives it the nice texture. I don't really have an issue with a seam. If you can see here, it's you can barely tell that it's joined right here. Um, so if that is a problem, I don't, or I don't think that will be a problem for you. Um, as far as seaming goes and working in the round, um, for decreases, you can do it a number of ways. The, the key and or the tricky part is making sure your double crochet goes into a single crochet, single crochet goes into a double. For the camellia hat, I do single crochet decreases. So I will chain one. Uh, let's start off the row. Single crochet in the first. This might be messing up my focus. Uh, double crochet single, and then a double. And then I would do a single crochet two together, or a single crochet decrease. So I'd insert my stitch into the hook, pull up a loop, insert into the next hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through all three. And so now I have a double crochet in that next, as that next stitch. So I need to work a single crochet into the next stitch and then a double into this single crochet and then a single and then a double and say I need to decrease again so I do a single crochet decrease and now I'm I have a double crochet again so I'm single crochet and double so however you do it whether you do a double crochet decrease, single crochet decrease, or you try to do both. Um, the key thing is you want to always have your single crochet stitches go into a double crochet stitch and double crochet stitches need to go into a single crochet stitch or you're not gonna get the same type of texture uh, that you see here. So that's the key with decreasing. It can be a little tricky to figure out and to write out in the, as a pattern or whatever, but that's the main thing. You want to be able to make sure those stitches go into the right one. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And I hope you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.